Piece of meat. Bow. First time I saw a um, drug free federation where you know only hard work pays off. Bow. Only the hard work. So I just like what's myself. I want to go into natural, natural bodybuilding. I don't want to follow that freak show stuff uh, like that, you know, like the Bob Gotham, the massive uh, human grow hormone monster. Here's why Anome Egger is on steroids. Bow. End of video, bada bing bada boom, we're done here. How am I supposed to make content about this? Let's break this kindergarten logic down and see what we got going on. Anoma Yeager competes in Muscle Mania. Now, Muscle Mania is the equivalent of a Halloween costume party. GON SEXUAL! Look at these men. I count 43 actual wieners. This is a huge sausage fest. Wait a minute, I think Chol Soon is in this picture. You guys know Chol Soon? Look at him! He's killing it! So on Muscle Mania's website, because it's a 100% all-natural, grass-fed, hormone-free competition, the athletes undergo intense drug testing. I mean, an intern at Muscle Mania's website headquarters must have wrote this part of the website, because this is absolutely horseshit. Can I have a certified professional that works for this organization please tell me what the fuck is going on with this? You're telling me this, my guy, is achievable naturally. Now this is some slimy shit, it's a huge ploy to make a lot of money. In fact, Anome Egger has his own website, and let's take a look at that. Oh, would you look at that, you could buy a training program on his website. $30 seems to be the G-spot for training programs these days. I mean, off the top of my head, I can't think of anyone else who- Wait a second, did somebody make a cookie cutter program for $30 recently? Nah! Now also on his website, he has a contact section, and why don't we see what Egg Boy's up to? Come on, Vamanos! Everybody, let's go! Hi, Anome. This is my fifth time reaching out to you. I just want to make sure you're receiving my electronic messages. Every time I go into the gym, I get made fun of by the bigger guys. They say that there is no such muscle called the butt pussy, and to stop Bulgarian-style training in six days a week. Do you have any tips or tricks of the trade in training your butt pussy? I tried reaching out to Julian Smithers about this issue, but he's too busy being a fake natty. Keep it real, puss boy over and out. Let's put on our anti-bullshit goggles, our booty band of peace, channel our third eye of truth, and become a destroyer of fake natties. <laughs> hey, let's open up those butt pussies and take a look at the first video, shall we? <laughs> so here we got a Noma Egger just overhead pressing 185 pounds, whatever the KG conversion is. But that's not what we're interested in here. We're actually interested in his caption. Others inject oil to get round shoulders. I prefer lifting some heavy ass weights. Oil? What? What the fucking gasoline? No, I know you're talking about synthol and shit. Some people inject oil, other people inject steroids. You happen to fall into the latter of those two and inject steroids. Hashtag blessed. Now this is an interesting one. It's used by a lot of muscle men that are infatuated with themselves. When did God and religion become associated with bodybuilding? Who are you blessed by? We all know God's not real. How are you blessed? You look like a reptilian science experiment gone wrong. <laughs> Don't bring divine intervention into this. You pop a full chub by looking at yourself in the mirror and scream, POW! I'm not impressed. Here's Egg Boy next to Panda Man. Both of them looking hella natty. Why did you choose to stay natural? For shits and giggles, let's take a look at Egg Boy's bench press. 315 for 12. That's some weak shit. He needs to run some strong lifts 5x5. Five this post is after one of his bodybuilding competitions, and apparently he placed fourth. I mean, there comes a certain point where everyone on stage is so goddamn muscled, the judges have to be looking at something else. Which brings me to my next theory. I think they're looking at the dick to ball ratio when they're on stage in their banana hammocks. Who placed first in this competition? Kwame Dua. Who's Kwame Dua? I'm done. Here's a little Motivation Monday, little transformation pick. This doesn't motivate me, my guy. You replaced your vices of partying and drinking and smoking or whatever you were doing with steroids. And now that you preach that you're living this healthy lifestyle and that everyone else is a pussy, you're a puss boy for being a fake natural. Second of all, wait, wait a second. Look at this caption. Some pepperoni will say, this is not achievable naturally. Pepperoni? My guy, a log of pepperoni can't fucking talk. I can't do any more of this. What do you say we give egg boy a taste of his own medicine? You just got fucking egged, my guy. They speak strength in numbers, don't mean shit when all these pussies stand so weak without a mask. You ain't shit. Rip it off and watch them run. Fuck what you stand for. 
Cut them out like cancer Try to sit 